got a cichlid and a bluegill. That's gonna be our bait today. Oh my God. Oh my God, look, look, look. Oh my God, look at this. Look, look, he's walking. Those are so cool, guys. Oh my God. A tons of catfish. What is going on, BFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, as you can tell, we're in a pretty cool spot. Now, this is not normally where I fish or make videos. This is the Florida Everglades. And I'm talking like deep into the Florida Everglades, like miles and miles on dirt roads to get here. And today we're trying something really different. We're gonna be doing a fish trap here at one of these spillways. Now, I'm really excited to see what we catch in these fish traps because the Everglades has everything, like exotics, natives, really cool aquarium fish. And that's what I'm after today, something really cool, something cool that you guys have probably never seen before and something that we probably never caught in a fish trap or never knew that was in here. Just something really cool and unique. So we're gonna have to be a little careful, you know, dodging the gators, the snakes, the pythons, all that crazy stuff. But hopefully it works. I mean, I think it will. Today we're after catfish, like different species, because I don't know, I think there's a lot of different species of catfish in here that we don't even know, like Hope Low Catfish, which I've caught before. There's the Placos, there's regular catfish, there's walking catfish, there's so many types. And I think those are gonna be the easiest to get because they use their sense of smell to find the food instead of eyesight. So this is the fish trap I'm using today. It's just one that I got off Amazon. I think this thing will work perfectly. We're just gonna throw it down in one of these spots that you know looks good. There's tons of different pieces of structure around here. As you can tell, this is a giant spillway. There's a bridge over there. There's two more spillways over there and then a big spillway over here. Let's go check this out. This has tons of water running through it. Look at all that water flowing. Dude. There's gotta be so many fish in here. Oh, look, there's a Placo, exactly what I was talking about. Oh, there's two. Look at that, there he goes. There's so many down there. Oh my God, they're all over. That's a good sign. Maybe I should put the fish trap in here. Let's go find another spillway or an area that's a lot calmer. I also wanted to let you guys know I did post on my community tab yesterday that I was not feeling well and that I had symptoms of the coronavirus. Now I did go to the hospital yesterday because I have been throwing up everything for like a week and I've had some symptoms of the coronavirus like chills and shortness of breath and stuff like that. Not like the severe symptoms, but like the mild ones. So I went to the hospital and they gave me some IV fluids and today I'm feeling a lot better, better enough to you know, come out here and film this video for you guys. I know I haven't posted in like five days and that's because I literally couldn't. I mean, I would go up every single day. I would get up and try to film something, but I can't because I just couldn't. Like, I, I couldn't even get up out of bed. It hurts so much. But today I'm much better and I'm so excited I can come out here to the Everglades and film this awesome video for you guys. But I did get tested for coronavirus and that test will come back. The results will come back in probably like a day. So I'll let you guys know. Let's go find a spot to put this fish trap and hopefully catch some ducks out here in the Florida Everglades. All right guys, I just found this other spillway right here and it looks super good. It's a lot calmer than the other spillways. As you can see, there's water flowing there. And also there's a little baby gator. Ooh, guys, I just found this little pipe culvert opening. Maybe we should do it here because there is a big pipe down there, a big hole, and we could probably drop the fish trap right in front of it. And catfish love structure. They love to hide in pipes and stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's the perfect place for it. We are ready to put the fish trap in the water. Look at that, look at that. There's a big gator over there. Oh my God, he's massive. All right, guys, anyways, check this out. We got two fresh baits here. We got a cichlid and a bluegill. That's gonna be our bait today. Catfish love fish and smelly fish like this, so they're probably gonna attract some catfish. Put them in the trap. Here we go, check that out. And we're probably gonna put it right down here, so come here. All right guys, so as you know, here's a pipe, a culvert pipe, and that's where catfish love to sit. They love structure and all that. And it's pretty deep right here, so I think we'll definitely be able to get some catfish. All right, there it goes, sinking. You can see the bluegill and the cichlid right there. All right, it's gonna go all the way to the bottom and then we're gonna have this rope and uh, we're probably gonna wait almost an hour and then we're gonna pull it up and see if we caught anything. There's like no rope left. It has to be like 10 feet down there. So we're gonna wait about an hour and we're gonna come back to this fish trap and lift it up. So anyways, hopefully we catch some catfish or something really cool like an exotic or something from an aquarium. There's tons of that here in the Everglades. There's Oscars. There's tons of different species that are not native to Florida. Stuff you guys have never seen before, stuff I've never even seen before. I don't know, it's really fun to just catch a bunch of different species. So hopefully our fish trap today does that. Anyways guys, I'll see you in about an hour. 
All right, guys, it's been about 45 minutes to an hour, and uh, hopefully the fish trap is still here. Hopefully nothing freaking took it. All there is that's holding it is like, it's, it's, all right, it's still there, it's still there. Thank God, that would have sucked if a big fish just came in and then took it away. All right, ready? Get rid of the rock. Look at this, look how deep it was. Look, like it's still going. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, oh my God, look, look, look. Holy crap, all right, I gotta get it up. We got tons of fish. We got tons of fish. Oh my God. All right, ready? Look at that, you can see all of them. Ready? Look at that, dude. Oh my God, look at this. Look, look, he's walking. That's a walking catfish. Oh my God, we got one. Oh my, we got two. There's another one. Look at this one. Dude, those are so cool, guys. Oh my God. Look at this, we got so many cichlids. Oh my God, look at this. This is unreal. This is unreal, look at this. These are Hopelo catfish. We got tons of catfish. Look at that, we got Hopelo catfish, walking catfish. Where's another one? We got another walking catfish. Look at this. Oh, his spines are stuck. There we go. Look at that. Don't get spined by him, those hurt. Look how cool that is. Oh my God. All right, we gotta get a bucket. And not to mention, look. Look how many cichlids came in here. Look at this. We only put one cichlid in here for chum. There's like tons of cichlids. Oh, that's the dead one. All the rest are, are alive. Yeah, see? Look at that. Oh, we got a tilapia all the way back here. So many species. That's a spotted tilapia right there. That is so cool, guys. All right, we're gonna get a bucket. We're gonna get a bucket, fill it with water, and put everything we caught in there, and we'll inspect it and see what we got. We got some water. Look how cool that is. Here, I'm gonna wash them off. Look, look at that. Look how cool these fish are. That's a walking catfish. Here you can see all their whiskers here. That's how they, you know, detect fish and all that and food. They rarely use their, their eyes for that to hunt. It's all these whiskers right here. We caught three of them today. so cool look at that that is so cool guys look we got a little walking or that's a hoplo catfish we got another hoplo these guys are really cool they also are pretty much relying on these whiskers right here to find their food and all that and the rest of these cichlids we're just gonna let go down here yeah buddy tons of mine cichlids jeez tilapia look at that we also caught, somehow, an apple snail. Look at this, this guy was just in there. He's a pretty big one. I don't know, he's not going back in. That's pretty cool though, we're just gonna throw him back. All right guys, we're probably gonna keep these catfish, put them in my tank or my pond or something like that, because they're really cool and really rare to catch where I'm from. So here in the Everglades, they're not that rare, but where I live, there's not many of them. So we're probably gonna keep them and put them in a tank or something. So cool guys, look at all these walking catfish. As you saw in my previous video, we caught a baby one where, where I'm from, um, and it was really tiny, but look how big these guys are. They're so much bigger than that one that I caught. Oh my God. And plus these Hopelo catfish, which are really cool too. There's none where I'm from. Here, let me see if I can get one. Right here, look at that. That's called a Hopelo catfish, guys. Super rare where I'm from, but I guess there's tons in the Everglades. But yeah, guys, three walking catfish. That is insane. I've never seen that. Look how big they are too. Oh, they are so cool. All right, well, we're probably gonna put them in my tank or something. We might let most of them go and only keep one or two. Um, yeah, I'll probably keep like the smallest one and maybe one of these Hoplos. So let's let two of these walking catfish go. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, look at his tail, he's so powerful. Oh, he's so powerful. All right, I'm gonna let you go right where I caught you. See you, buddy. All right, let's get one more walking catfish out. Oh, they are so cool. God. Guys, let me know if you've ever caught a walking catfish. I don't know if they're in other states other than Florida, but they are so cool. Look, there he goes. <laughs> right back to that pipe. And we're gonna let one of these Hoplo catfish go and we're gonna keep one of each. All right, buddy, see ya. There he goes. Oh, look at him, look at him. You can see him. Oh, he's just chilling. I want you guys to leave a name for both this uh, walking catfish and the Hoplo catfish in the comments. And I'll name these fish the best comment that I see. So leave some cool names and uh, maybe your name could be featured in the next video.